Hey, how's it going guys? Matt here from Toasty DIY and I'm here with a quick video on the fastest and most efficient way to record high quality gameplay on your gaming PC. Now in today's video, we're gonna be focusing on Nvidia GPUs. AMD does have a very similar service, which I'll try to leave links to other videos on that down below. But the PC I have right here is an RTX 2080 Super. Um, if you have a RTX 2060, 2070, 2080, or if you have any sort of 10,000 series card like 1060, 1070, 1080, any of these GPUs will easily support this service. It's using GeForce Experience, which is NVIDIA's like suite to update drivers, optimize games and things like that. But some people do forget there is a built-in overlay that allows you to use the NVENC encoder, which is a built-in encoder on your graphics card to record gameplay and not sacrifice too much gaming performance. So we're not gonna waste any time and we're gonna dive right into the desktop. Now, if you have everything set up and you have GeForce Experience ready to go, all you have to do is hit Alt and Z on your keyboard, and as you can see, the GeForce experience pops up. And just imagine this, you're in game, and you want to have, well, one, you can do instant replays, we're not really focused on that here. You wanna do a quick recording of what's going on and share it with your friends or upload it to YouTube, or do some benchmarks. This is a good way to do benchmarks without having a capture card because the performance loss is very negligible. Um, all you have to do is hit start, and boom, you're good to go. You can customize the settings here between high, medium, and low, the frame rate if you wanna have some from frame rates um, or the bit rate if you want the quality to look better this seems to be the um, default that I would recommend so just go high settings uh, the high quality settings um, and it'll base on your in-game resolution which I am uh, playing games at 1440p I have a 1440p monitor here and then you would hit start recording and you're good to go now, as you can see on screen here, you see the quality of this recorder in Halo Infinite, and it actually works really well. I think the quality is very crisp, and for a very easy out-of-the-box way with an NVIDIA GPU to get some footage for, let's say, a benchmarking YouTube channel, um, or any sort of just reason why you need gameplay footage, I believe the GeForce Experience uh, built-in overlay is the fastest and easiest way. Now, obviously, you can use OBS if you really want to, um, but it is something that you would have to set up. You have to tweak the settings a little bit and I always notice even with the NVENC settings in OBS the recorder using the GeForce Experience app always seems to make a crisper image um, compared to OBS. OBS is still a little bit behind maybe it's just my fine tuning and I don't have the right settings but for my experience it's much easier just to use GeForce Experience to get your gameplay recording. And as I mentioned, this is absolutely perfect for you benchmarking your PCs. If you run a tech YouTube channel and you're looking to start benchmarking but don't wanna pay for a capture card, if you have a system that has an NVIDIA GPU, you can use this and the performance will be minimal. You will lose some performance, but you can mention that in your video to your audience that you lose a few frames here and there, but it's not really anything to really stress about. So I hope you guys found this video useful today. If you did, let me know in the comments section down below. If you have any other questions about PC basics or anything in general that I may have some knowledge on that I could pass along to you, let me know down below. I'm looking to make a lot more guides on this YouTube channel for helping new PC people get into the PC space and have no worries whatsoever. So let me know in the comment section down below what you've been stressing about and maybe I can help correct it. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll see you guys in the next one.